it's not truly Christmas for me unless the windows are covered in hand prints and covered in nose prints. Like, the cleaners hate it, but I love when the windows are dirty and people are actually looking into them and enjoying them and you've got all those little magical moments. This year's Christmas windows are the story of Santa Mail. You'll see a lot of the different pieces in the windows, some of which are made of Lego, some of which um, are different pieces of animation that we've brought in in order to bring the story to life. A small little prop that we have on the windows is our Christmas glasses. So the Christmas glasses are applied on the inside and you'll see that when you look through them, every point of light inside the window turns into a Santa face, a snowman or a reindeer. We're keeping them on a lower level in order for the kids to engage with the window, but we've still got some up high for the adults so they can engage too. The story, yeah, it does start off in Dublin and it starts off with our little girl Lily writing her letter to Santa and then you'll see her posting her letter with the help of her brother. Then the letter works through the night sky and then in the second section of windows we've got the northern lights up in the North Pole and we've got all of the magical animation and it's all just brought to life and it's all going on down that section. It's always an interesting process, like you, you have to st start with a base layer and you have to build up and build up and build up on top of it and sometimes you, you feel like you're not finished at all. I love the nostalgia and tradition of Christmas but again it is about just those little quirky elements that you can add to the story just to bring it to life in a different way and make it a bit more engaging with the kids of today.